and let's get in just a little bit of a start here. I don't think we'll go for Hedge Wizard this time, Colgate. I think that the plan was, if the Ice Elementalist died, to go back to the thrower start of some kind. So I could even start with Brigand, just for the, the really nice starting darts to help us out against higher level enemies. Alternatively, you do just go Fighter to get some good armor right off the bat. But let's try it out. I'm gonna go with Brigand this time around. And... Oh gosh. I have no clue. What do I want to go with for names? I've already gone through most of the, uh, the constellations that first come to mind. I'm gonna Google star names. And let's see, what do we get here? Sirius, Rigel, Altair? Altair, let's go with that, shall we? And we won't have a lot of time left in our evening here, but would definitely like to get a wee bit of work done at starting off the next one. Sun, we did do Soul already, which I guess is slightly different than Sun, but you know, it kind of ticks off the same bo uh, boxes here. And let us... Oh, hold up. Stop what you're doing, Turinsky. First and foremost, let's uh, jump in here and get some of our auto pickups sorted. Definitely want everything that is throwable. Fantastic. And we'll, of course, also do a quick dump of our morgue file. And, of course, I was optimistic, very positive coming into today. And I did not pre-navigate to the... Uh, the morgue location, so we'll have to just take a quick second here to pop in there, there. Um, I can't read very well today. Fantastic. Okay, I got to the morgue file and then my computer is starting to freak out and taking a, a hot minute. Give it a second. You're doing great, buddy. We'll get there eventually. There we go. The blinding white flash of a notepad. And let's jump in here because, of course, we'll post our, our game seed just in case anyone wishes to play along at home, see how you fare in the dungeon. And with all of that out of the way and set up, let us just get right to it, shall we? Um, great start. Just fantastic start. I could use Curare, but I don't really want to. Um, maybe I should have. mulch all my curari darts but hey needs needs must and all of that i'm hoping to find a decent replacement weapon right away i guess you're probably you're poison resistant aren't you you son of a gun well in that case goodbye can get a few tiles explored over here for some extra healing hope that you're not by this door You know what? We should probably just fight you. If we have to reset, so be it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Fantastic. And right back on the road, shall we? Keep it moving on here. We could go for some early stealth training if we so desired, but I'm not really too concerned about it. I think we'll just uh, try our luck going forward with the usual routine here i mean spear is definitely an option for us to swap to axe is probably more likely to be useful for us anytime we see armor we'll be picking that up to switch our way upwards and hopefully we can get through the first level or two is going to be the hardest part with this style of character and then once we get the ball rolling we should be able to use our curari darts to take care of any of the super early kind of ogres two headed ogres that kind of thing and then that will leave us with plenty of options and experience to hold us over till the mid game. At least that's the plan, that's the dream, and we'll see how it all goes down. But I think we will say goodbye to the first floor for the time being, and we'll just get right back to it, trying to keep as many turns as possible for when we do get to the point of uh, looking for the temple. I also shouldn't have thrown that dart all the way, should have capped it using the period key so it landed at the feet of our snacky pal, but hey. 
not the end of the world. I think they could deal 12, so we are still safe to finish off that encounter. And let's try to blitz through most of the early game. Which is probably slightly detrimental to my own success and health, but so be it. Such as the uh, the price to pay for convenience, and yes, let's keep going down. Ooh, a sewer, and it's right there. Nice. Don't have to worry about searching it out here early on. And let us just head on over, shall we? Can definitely switch to a short sword as soon as possible. I guess we could just use one of the other weapons. Spears, I think, are one of the top kind of zero training weapons as well. Base delay of 1.1. Get the extra hit in as they come into range too. Let's try it out, shall we? I guess we should start training a weapon, so maybe a better idea would be to switch to axe now. Now I can start training it anywho, and we can swap over whenever we see fit in the future. And actually, while we're at it, let's set a cap on fighting so we don't just keep training that into oblivion. And then last but not least, we'll of course be hoping that we have access to um, a throwing tool at some point here. So that we can start fully realizing our, our true goals and aspirations here. Definitely just walk away from you, my friend. Oh, that was Kirari. I actually meant to... Uh, Use my spear from afar. Whoopsie daisies, that's fine. Um, what else can I do? I guess we can switch back to regular darts to get some extra poison damage pinging down on this son of a gun. Keep stepping forward to get heals as we go. Fantastic. And not too shabby whatsoever. Okay, we're still just barely hanging on by a thread. We're down to one Kirari dart, which is not great, but... <laughs> Hey, I guess it is what it is, and we will make do with whatever the dungeon sends our way. You just have to believe, just have to have faith. And you as well, my friend, you could just step right on up here. Fantastic. And, oh man. This is going to be a slow start to the run, especially fighting in deep water, of course, is always a little bit of a, a struggle, but these consumables should definitely help out here. No need for faith, yet have not even found God. Not yet. Hopefully we do manage to find the temple, and specifically Okawaru. I would actually, better than the temple would be finding an Okawaru altar, just natural Hiranaji spawn, but... Definitely never any real guarantee that that will be the case. Do I bother opening up any of these? So River at 10 damage. 62% chance to hit us, 2% chance to evade our sphere, only 11 health. We should be able to... Oh, wait. Now it has real evasion, because it's awake. Right. Or do you alter? <laughs> well, it could be nice to find a GV alter for sure, but... I think I'm just gonna run from these sons of guns. Don't have that many turns left here regardless. 40% chance to evade us. Still have to kill one of them as we get out. Yeah, let's go for it. It'll be way closer of a fight than I care to admit. Oh geez Louise. Yeah, it is not going well. <laughs> Chari, save me. Hey, perfect. <laughs> Never a doubt. And we'll just keep on moving here. This could be this could be an oak altar. Nope. Ooh, but a short sword of speed I will take. That's definitely an upgrade from where we were at. Try and kill the priest as soon as possible. What the heck? <laughs> um That's not great. Let's just drink a random potion here. Oh great, we're attractive. I think we're just gonna <laughs> Let this one go here. Yeah, unfortunately, did die very early on here, but that's okay. We're gonna jump in with Altair one more time. Maybe Brigand Start isn't actually the best choice, and I should go for like a Fighter Start or something like that. Is Fedhes good enough? I don't know. We we haven't had a good dedicated Oka Tosser, and I do really want to 
try it out. I think it could be a lot of fun. Alternatively, ranged like is a half decent option for sure for just speeding up your ability to deal with encounters on each of these floors. Also, I did not notice the stairs. Let's take that. Oh, Knowles. Perfect. Just what I was hoping to see. Should also do a quick run through and tell that I am in a rush now as I'm not doing any of my usual set up and get up. In fact, yeah, oh gosh, we're training all over the place. What the heck am I doing with my life? Throwing can come off for the time being until we have some kind of throwing equipment. Fighting those good. Maces and flails, we could start training. It at least cross trains with axes, so even if we do want to go that route in the future, it doesn't uh, necessarily turn us off from that idea. But regardless, we'll jump in and grab the seed for this run as well. Because once again, if any of you lovely folk want to play along at home, see how you fare. Always love to hear about it. So we'll plop that bad boy up there. And let's just head back upstairs and find a different stairwell down, shall we? Maybe one that's a little more reasonable. Not too shabby here. Do I waste any time on this floor? I guess I might as well at least check out the stairs. It's usually good to to take the quick peek up and down any stairwell that you find. Never know when it might save your life in the future, or at least make you a little more sure of your escape paths and whatnot. But not too shabby here. Some armor would be nice. Would greatly appreciate that. You know what, and this time I think I will commit a little more. Perfect. Okay, we killed the rest of you, and now just this one buddy with a, uh, with a club is really causing problems. I feel mighty all of a sudden. Oh, okay. I should probably just go for the swing then, right? 30% chance to evade my mace. That won't happen. Perfect. Never a doubt. Oh, man. And there's the armor that we wanted so badly, so I'll actually just grab that bad boy right away here. And we can toss some darts your direction. Unfortunately, it didn't really work out for us, but there we go. That should give us a huge advantage over our previous run. Just having some decent armor right off the bat is fantastic. And we'll definitely fight off all of our new friends here. Check out these stairs. And just keep it moving on. This is where Temple could start showing up so we can be a little more thorough in our search here. Definitely can use poison to our advantage to kind of soften up some of these enemies in advance as well. Even with attacks of opportunity, should be able to walk back to the stairs for some extra safety, do some exploration to hopefully heal, or just keep running into new enemies until the end of time. That, I guess, works too. So at the moment, we're still just training fighting. There is a plus zero hand axe, which is not great. Versus the plus two. Oof, oof, oof. The plus two is pretty huge early on for, you know, giving you uh, greater odds of success. So I think we'll have to start there. We did just get some boomerangs, so it's starting. There, There's a hope. Oh my gosh, a morning star though. Okay, maybe we do go maces and flails. Oh my gosh. And again, it just continues my oh my. I will gladly look into the temple here real quick. Come on, Noka. Where are you at, Dad? Um, please, any any Okas? Any Okawarus in, in chat? No? Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, so what do we do instead? Gozag? Always an option. I'm curious how like something like Che works on this stealth run. That's interesting. We could go with Rue. Uskaya is always an interesting choice as well. Do I go with Rue? Hmm. I mean, sure, we could probably try it out. Chances are we're gonna step out of here and immediately run into an Okawaru altar and I'll regret my decisions in life, but... Hmm. Che does slow Zot Clock, cool. 
Yeah, I was pretty sure they did, or at least you'd hope so, otherwise they're basically a death sentence <laughs> with a Zalclaw character like this. So, Rue. So, we give stuff up, and then we get immense power. It's not bad. I think we've had one pretty solid character in the past with Rue. I think one of our wins, even. But, let's try it out. It's only 1.5 times available. Hmm. Yeah, so I think, well, we can give Rue a try here. I'm going to be sad that we aren't going with Oka, but hey, it's worth a shot. We'll try it on for size here and see how things go. Since he measures turns, not odds, Che wouldn't be as bad. Oh, definitely, definitely. But okie dokie, for the time being, we'll go through. Ooh, let's do Chainmail of Fire Resistance. Love to see it. Maybe this will be slightly better run in terms of actually having resistances instead of just constantly being in full panic mode and not knowing what to do with my life. At least that would be nice. Okay. Well, that escalated quickly. Let's take you, Kiddlywinks, upstairs here. Get off one at a time. Fantastic. There we go. Not too shabby. Oh gosh. <laughs> he says as the, the hordes descend upon him. Um, Still not too bad at the end of the day here. We'll keep kind of walking into the unknown. I think it's worth the risk well enough. Though we don't need to heal too, too much for taking care of that, buddy. With 11 AC, we're doing just fantastic for the very kind of early section of the game here. Oh, and that's all of our, our stairs. Let's definitely check that out. Didn't even notice these the first time around. Whoopsie daisies. What else is fun Oka before sacrifice? Switch to Noka is free. And Zoclock is odds. So definitely not Shathen. Good to know, good to know. And that's true. I kind of forget that Rue doesn't really care too much. So that is a great point. And look at that. We get some ice magic back and homage and ode to our previous run. What the heck are you doing in my D5, you son of a gun? Um, hmm. Well, let's definitely just run, run away, very bravely might I add, and we just won't worry about the rest of floor 5 for the time being, I'm sure it will be just fine. Oh, ha Howler Monkey is probably a bit rough for us now that I think about it, Teradogre can now very well be at the, the top of those stairs, whoopsie daisies. And unfortunately we got fire resistance and not cold resistance, otherwise we'd feel a little more confident against these sons of guns. As is, we can still put on that strength ring, and I guess we might as well fight in a corridor. Jeez Louise. Oh, that's a lot of damage, but okay, teleport. Take me away, a safer place, not too shabby. Get some gloves. No, I was pretty much already thrown in the towel mentally there, so I'll take it. Dex, so turns out I probably can't fight even one of you, hey? That's a shame. And this is a different buddy from the two that were up here, which is wild. Who knew that they were spreading throughout the totality of the floor? How about that? I think part of the issue here is that they get in two attacks, because our current attack speed or attack delay is quite slow. I mean, hmm. You know what? Maces and flails. You will get some training now that you think about it. Would have been nice to go like an axe route instead, but hey. It is what it is. And there we go. Okay, if we just get lucky, then we have no problem murdering that son of a gun. Sawclock runs at two-thirds speed for Shea Worcester, so it does compensate. Yeah, I'm just curious if it compensates enough. But not going to have to worry about it this run regardless. Pretty happy with where we are at. Ooh. Only the Morning Star would be pretty huge for us. Especially if it happens to have a, a fairly decent modifier on it, then we'll be looking pretty solid. 
I guess how much money did I have? I had like just over a hundred. So the chances of us being able to afford that while also having the Zoc clock to get there and back again might be a little bit tricky. <clears throat> but we'll see how it goes. We'll hold out hope for a hero here at the very least. I mean, we're a lot closer now already. So that's nice. Oh, you son of a gun. Oh my gosh. It was going so well until suddenly just crashed and burns at high speed. Oof, oof. Um, hmm. Well, can we just roll with it here? One final set of strikes to to determine our future. 76% chance to hit me. Well, let's let's just go for it. Perfect. Never a doubt, of course. We get decent heals by going down the stairs here. Lovely. Rue believes I'm ready to make a new sacrifice. Sacrifice artifice, essence, disrupted magic or courage. So let's take a look at some of these. Essence it has to be a small one, right? Cast and slightly disrupt disrupted? I mean, that's a pretty sick deal for me. I don't mind whatsoever. Courage? I don't think we want because most monsters are going to be considered dangerous monsters. <laughs> and Artifice, I have such a hard time saying yes to. I love Evocation so much and especially on a non-caster character like this, I think it's gonna have to be our ability to cast. Get thee gone. It does get us to two pips immediately, you're not wrong, but unfortunately, I am not willing to make this sacrifice. <laughs> Especially since we're not at the end of our rope yet in terms of being able to back out of this. Oh my gosh. Okay, is this... Well, it's a relatively safe escape. Let's get the heck out of Dodge, shall we? Ophedibus, hello. Um, should be able to deal with you, actually. Yeah, no problems whatsoever. Fantastic. This will be a nice heal as well. Wonderful. Ooh. If we don't die to the whites, could be some good resources. Alternatively, this is getting a little heavy and dire, so let's uh, potentially just change tax here oh gosh never mind this is not better oh gosh this is not better um take me away teleport me once again i'm gonna find less ones anyways as the meteor and you're not wrong yep except ha huh? roots <laughs> gotcha perfect timing game <laughs> um but yeah i like the rechargeable evocables more than anything which I'm hoping that we'll gain access to. We did alright on them last time around, but some of that would have been due to just sheer luck, of course. But I will still gladly take it. And we're not getting any gold anymore, so it's looking like we will not, in fact, be able to go back and buy the good stuff. Jeez Louise. Oh, how quickly it all goes downhill. Oh, and you did not stay rooted very long, my friend. Well, in that case, let's start quaffing. Um, okay, that gives us poison immunity. Hmm. It's kind of rough with the uh, array of enemies that we have before us here, but... Okie dokes. I guess we just see what happens. Oh, the knoll actually is going to be a pain in the rear. Do you know what? Let's start chugging. Ocean of Curing. Ocean of Heal Wounds. Okay, both very useful. And that's pretty much all I was hoping to get out of those, anywho. So, I guess we'll take it. Um, yeah, do I just Roots? It's a little bit of extra damage while we're at it, so I think I kind of kind of got it, you know? At least we have good AC and tree form, because this is... It's just my life now, apparently. Is this two Sky Beasts? I think it's two Sky Beasts. Ooh. And... Five damage and seven electrical? Come on. Come on, I believe. 
Perfect. Perfect. Never doubt in my mind, of course. And okie dokie, we'll just continue jumping from one frying pan to fires left and right here. We could, I guess, escape upstairs. It's not the safest of places. But let's do it. Hopefully we land somewhere okay. Not too bad at the very least. And, oh, what am I doing? Don't wait out a turn like that. Whoopsie daisies. And then come one, come all. And I'll take every last one of you. There's an axe, actually. Magical hand axe plus three axe of freezing is kind of nice. So let's swap into axes right away here. Already have some cross training, so this should attack at an okay speed. Yeah, we're attacking once per turn, which is kind of the big threshold that you want to see. Um, and... oh gosh. Much tougher when you're actually invisible. Jeez Louise. Base axe skills gain two levels. Fantastic. Um, slightly less fantastic is running into to you lot, but hey, still managed to survive for the time being. Is there anything I can do up here? There could be a two-headed ogre. Hopefully not. Cross your fingers. Hey, there's a one-headed ogre too. How about that? Uh, let's just take you downstairs, my friend. Okie dokie. One, one day we'll remember what it felt like to have actual health here. We'll see. If we manage to survive until we get to that point, of course, never any guarantees, but at least it's it's not too, too bad for the time being here at the moment. Um, but now that I'm surrounded, it is that bad. What? I would like to become a tree, please, and thank you. That should hopefully keep us alive long enough to make it through all the fodder here, fantastic. Way closer than I care to admit at the end there, but... Hey, all that matters is that we did in fact survive, so get absolutely wrecked dungeon, fantastic. And... not too shabby. We're very much nearing the, uh, the end of our time for this evening. We're gonna have to cut it just a slight amount shorter than usual. Right, probably don't need to fully explore this floor or anything like that, but... Not the end of the world either way. I'll still take it. And, okay, a bunch of you sons of guns is actually fairly manageable for me, I believe. Potentially should have stepped up a slight bit sooner. Oh gosh, and now I wish I had Lig again. Oh no. <laughs> oh, not like this. Um, hmm. I guess I roots you. Okay, that did not last long enough whatsoever. TP out of there, and hopefully that gives us everything we need to survive just slightly longer here. I do see an artifact helmet as well, so that's exciting. The helmet of Peekaboo. Slow is not great, but fire resistance and some positive energy. I mean, I'll take what I can get at this point. Can't really complain, so we'll throw that bad boy on for the time being. <gasps> get back. Okay. I need this. Perfect. Alright. Would you like to dance, my friend? 18 damage and paralysis. I could maybe kill you without going tree. Of course, I get paralyzed right away. Oh gosh. Um, nope. I gotta become tree. <laughs> um, okay, that's... that's not... not enough. I already ID'd my healing too, didn't I? <laughs> oh, me oh my. Actually, let's see. So, I want known. Oh yeah, curing heal wounds. Both already found and not currently in our inventory. So, whoops. Why did I do this to myself? I knew that I needed a tree potion to kill the hornet, and yet... Some tiny part of my brain decided... Maybe... Maybe I'm losing it. Maybe it's not quite so necessary after all. 
Um, if I could, like, berserk, maybe? Wait a second. Oh my gosh. No, I was so close. At least I have the attraction going. Otherwise, this buddy would have just murdered me already. Um, okay. Game gave me some tiny amount of hope. Hopefully it doesn't rip it away just as quickly. Wait till tree form goes. Oh me oh my. Highly undeserved. And you know, I will freely admit that was the one time, the hyper rare occasion, that uh, we actually didn't have it. And it just happened to work out. Of course though, would have needed the tree for this one. Look at that, we even had a potion of experience on this. But it's probably for the best that we die here at, as we get close to the end of my uh, my time for stream this evening. Saved me some uh, some mental fatigue because I'm I'm definitely slowly losing my mind here. Not because of the game or unfortunate luck, but just because I'm not ver thinking very straight tonight. And uh, that's probably readily apparent in my performances across the board. But regardless, we had a really solid run with Antares. And I'm excited to uh, jump back into this next week and hopefully we can get another good one going, right? That's the dream, that's the, the plan as it were. I'm hoping to potentially even try and stream a little bit longer next Sunday. I'll be on my the start of my break from work, so hopefully have a bit more time. We'll see how things go. It will be the first kind of weekend of it, so I may need to sleep still. And we'll find some more time during my break to... Uh, to try and fit one in, or fit some extra time in, especially since I will be leaving uh, to spend Christmas with my family at some point here, and I don't think I'll stream while I'm up there. But I'll get a nice backlog for all you lovely folks. Anywho, we'll uh, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. Of course, I'm always hugely appreciative to each and every one of you for hanging out, whether that be joining us in chat here, if you're lurking in the background, or if you're watching this later down the road. Uh, through YouTube or on the VODs, then hello and thank you. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate it and I absolutely adore our time together. And yeah, with that all out of the way, let's do a quick check to see who is live at the moment. I'm hoping that that someone is this time. Been having bad luck. It seems like everyone's uh, schedules has have swapped around recently, but we'll we'll take a quick peek to see if there's anyone we can send all of you lovely folks off to apparently my internet is just having struggles across the board but it does look like everyone's is on today so i think that's where we will go i definitely stick around say hello always a, a fantastic time hanging out with them currently playing some some yakuza so we'll get that started right away here and then i'll go try not to immediately pass out maybe get some food first that would probably be a, a good idea on my end, but we'll start that raid. And yeah, thank you all again. Oh, we'll get them next time. We'll definitely get through it next time. Just have to believe, right? But with that all out of the way, make sure that everything is, is looking good. Then, yeah, I guess there's nothing to do but to, to get to it. And regardless of my lack in brain faculties this evening. I do hope that you are having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you out there. And I definitely hope to see you soon. Just remember, folks, that we never didn't have it. And I'll see you soon. See ya.